Good evening, folks, and welcome to the tenth episode of the Heavy NFLD official podcast. We got a good show lined up for tonight, as per usual, and that's thanks to a bunch of new bands that have come out of the St. John's metal scene. There's some really new hard hitting stuff that's coming out there these days, and I'm really excited to play that for you. If you've been keeping tabs on the Heavy NFLD YouTube channel, you've probably heard some of it already. But without a doubt, this is some really fucking killer stuff. So we're just going to get right into things. We're going to play two songs from two bands that have come on the scene in just the last couple of months. The first being Sons of an Eastern Moon, followed up by Across Darkness.
All right, so that was, first off, Loki's Legacy by Sons of an Eastern Moon, followed up by Skyrider by Cross Darkness. I really like what both of these bands have done. It seems like there is something of a Norse mythological power metal meets melodic death metal renaissance going on in St. John's, and that's fucking awesome. I mean, obviously, given that Newfoundland has a bit of Viking heritage in our history with uh, Lance Meadows and all of that, and the fact that Leif Erikson actually landed here way, way back before any other Europeans discovered North America or South America. Um, but I really like this. You know, I, at least I think that's what Skyrider is about. When I listen to the lyrics, it sounds like they're talking about a Valkyrie. But uh, Sons of an Eastern Moon, they just had their debut show at November Mayhem at the Rock House just uh, earlier this month. Actually, given the recording of when this is happening right now, it was literally just a week ago. And Across Darkness is having their debut show coming up very soon, but we'll have more details on that later on. In the meantime, (laughs) there's a little bit of a pun there, we're going to have a song by the band Trend. Now, these guys aren't technically a metal band. They're more of like alt-rock, grunge, maybe a little bit of hard rock and classic rock thrown in there too. But I saw them when they toured with the Skeets up here in Montreal earlier this year during the summertime at Barfly. It was a fucking awesome show. Nobody showed up except me and my friend. But, uh, you know, they killed it anyways. And we're going to play a song from their debut album now called Dream Awake.
I joined the Illuminati Like a mad scientist that's feeling naughty And I, I wanna live in a suffix Asian Where there's propaganda coming through your telescreen Wanna join the Illuminati Like a cult-top democratic Nazi And a innocence in a color TV Where everybody is exactly as they seem To me He won't get out of his bed He's got a gun to his head today With your feet tied up in the air My heart is so immoral But my head it just don't care The way I like to picture you With your feet tied up in the air But sometimes it just has to make you wonder I wanna join the Illuminati I'm a no liar but I'm never wrong See it I wanna kill all the power stations, all the private property across our nations And wanna join the Illuminati like a mad scientist that's feeling naughty And I, if I'm wrong then please don't tell me Cause everybody is exactly as they seem to me He won't get out of his bed, he's got a gun to his head today Today, he won't get out of his bed, he's got a gun to his head Oh, the way I like to picture you with your feet tied up in the air So that was Dream Awake by Trend, followed up by Illuminati by The Skeets from their debut album, In the Meantime. And, uh, you know, The Skeets are a really special band to me, particularly because they come from Glovertown, which is where I'm from, as most of you who are listening to this probably know. And growing up in Glovertown, there's not really much of uh, any kind of infrastructure for people to get ahead when it comes to music simply because it's a very small town. I mean, the population is about 2,000 people. And growing up, you know, I was very interested in music. I had a lot of friends who were musicians. I know James from the Skeets and uh, his brother Daniel. James always played guitar. He's been playing guitar since as far as I can remember. And Daniel only picked up the drums quite recently within the last few years. But he's a fucking monster, as you can hear on this particular song, as well as the rest of the album, if you definitely check it out. But when I see a band from Glovertown that has achieved the level of notability that the Skeets have, I I think that that's really amazing. So I want to give a particular shout out right now to the Skeets for managing to get to where they are right now. Uh, Moving on from that, we're going to take a bit of a, a turn away from Newfoundland, actually, and like we did in the last podcast episode, we're going to take a, a look at Montreal, where I've since moved to in the last few years, as uh, you know, most of you already know, and we're going to take a look at the punk scene in particular, because I've been getting 
invested in that scene quite a bit. Uh, my girlfriend plays bass in a punk rock band, and through her I've met a bunch of other people who are immersed in that scene as well. Um, and, and there's a lot of really, really good bands up here in this city, you know, when it comes to either just regular punk rock or hardcore or ska. And these are genres I never thought I'd ever even get into myself. But the fact that I have such ready access to this scene and I've been immersed into it because of these people who I know, it's really opened my eyes to just how vibrant the scene here is. And I've been to a bunch of shows, really small scale stuff, that just kind of exudes that punk rock spirit that you come to expect from bands who play that type of music. I think that's really awesome. So without further ado, we're going to play a song from that band. They're called No Way Out. The song is from their debut demo, and it's called Forgiving Type.
So that was Forgiving Type by No Way Out, followed by Picking Sides by Sprankton. Uh, both of these bands, fucking awesome. I've seen them both like a multitude of times at so many different venues here in Montreal, and they both fucking kick ass. Sprankton is is a really awesome band. Um, that song by them, Picking Sides, they usually introduce it live by their vocalist Robin screaming, I'm a vampire, four times before they jump into it. So I don't know why they decided to opt out of putting that in the final recording, but if you ever come to Montreal and you are interested in seeing some cool local bands, I highly recommend going to see either No Way Out or Sprankton, or hopefully both of them, because, you know, they play shows together all the time. But anyways, we're going to go into some local news back in Newfoundland right now, talking about the metal and punk scene in that area. Uh, the biggest thing to address is probably something that most of you already know by this point, that Valhalla Tavern is no more and has since been renamed to the Treble Lounge. And as far as I know, it still has the same owners, they just decided to change the name. But um, most of you guys probably knew that already because it's been a while since this has happened. I'm sad to see Valhalla go because I thought that was a pretty cool name. And, you know, again, like I mentioned earlier, Newfoundland, Vikings, we kind of go together hand in hand. So I did prefer that name, but as long as the venue maintains its dedication to the metal scene, the punk scene, the being open to just, you know, different things like um, goth, knights and stuff like that or like you know the different um uh drag queens that kind of shit they're keeping it on the go so you know props to them um when it comes to what's happening with the musicians winter hearth is back up and running Uh, andrew's got some new members apparently and they're working on new material right now which is really exciting because we haven't heard anything from the winter hearth camp since resettlement which was quite a while ago Uh, Aside from that, we have Across Darkness, who we played earlier in the show, who are going to be coming out with something new, their their debut release. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be an album or an EP, but given the quality of Skyrider and how much I genuinely really enjoy that song, I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, on top of that, we have Sons of an Eastern Moon as well, who hopefully will be coming out with a full-length debut, aside from just the one track that they've released so far, or I guess two tracks if you want to get into the specifics of it. Loki's Legacy is actually part one and part two put together into one track. Also, we have Bad Milk, who just released a demo, an unmixed version of a song called The Husband, which is apparently a preview of an upcoming release that they're working on right now. So you can check that out on their Bandcamp at the moment. And one of the most exciting things, something I'm really looking forward to, is that Chevy, the legendary Chevy, the biggest metal hard band heavy band that's ever come out of newfoundland is potentially working on new material yeah according to a facebook post they do have some new stuff in the works there's no projected timeline for a release date on that but the fact that they're working on new stuff is always very exciting now when it comes to shows uh on november 30th at distortion we have last soul down the birchman and Dendron. Important to note that this is the Birchman's final show for a while. They're going on a brief hiatus. I can't really remember the reason why. I think they might be working on new material or, you know, one of the many other reasons that bands go on hiatus. Uh, Then we have on December 15th at Treble, there is Kids Fest 6 with Dog's Blood, an Alexis on Fire cover band, The Sums, a Sum 41 cover band, and Grand Theft Autumn, a Fall Out Boy cover band. And, you know, this is always awesome. we got to keep these all-ages shows on the go. It's very important to have these kinds of things available to kids because, you know, you get interested in this stuff at a young age. And I remember being a, a preteen, being a teenager, and getting into this style of music and just feeling very 
left out in my hometown because there were no venues where I could go and watch that kind of stuff. And aside from like the one or two shows that they had in the uh, gymnasium in my school, which was not very often. And most of the time that was just, you know, my close friends who were playing music that I'd already heard before. So when it comes to a big place like St. John's that has the ability to provide all ages shows to an audience that wants it, that really craves it, I think that's important. So good on Treble, again, for keeping that shit on the go. And then also, on December 21st at Distortion, we have Pagan Fest, Slaughter of the Solstice, with Sons of an Eastern Moon, Dead Guard, and the debut show of Cross Darkness, which is going to be awesome. And the most exciting thing about this is that since I'm planning on coming back home to Newfoundland, on December 16th or 17th, not entirely sure when, that means that there's a good chance I'll actually be able to go to this fucking show, which I'm really looking forward to, and hopefully, if I remember to actually bring all of my camera gear with me, I'll be able to film either Sons of an Eastern Moon or Across Darkness, or maybe even both of them. That would be ideal. So, when this show comes, keep an eye out for me, come say hi, do not be afraid, I don't bite, I mean, sometimes I do, but, you know, that's that's not for you guys to know. Um, but then when it comes to the bigger world, the, the metal world at large, we're not talking local here, there's some interesting things happening. Uh, I don't have many of them, but the two that I do have are interesting. First off, the legendary X Order, the band that everyone claims Pantera ripped the sound off of, are coming back with their first new album since 1992 which is fucking insane. So please keep an eye out for that. Give this album a listen when these guys come back because we don't want them to go away again for another decade or two. And the other thing is that you probably heard about the death of Ollie Herbert from All That Remains. Now, All That Remains is not a band that I've really given much attention to since I was a teenager. I liked their first album, maybe their first two albums, but Ever since then, they just kind of went downhill, and then I kind of stopped listening to metalcore altogether, to be honest. But it's really sad that he has since passed away, and this happened earlier in the month. But since that time, it was originally assumed that he had died because of antidepressants that were found in his system, and that he drowned in the pond that his uh, body was found in. It's since been ruled that his death is suspicious, and the law enforcement in his town are actually looking into the real cause of death because nobody knows so this is highly troubling but in the meantime just uh you know i i guess have a moment of silence for for ollie because even if you don't like his music it's always very sad when somebody passes away in a manner like this but anyway going away from that we're going to get right back into the music, the important part of this show. And we're going to take it back to Newfoundland again. We're going to go on to another punk band. This time it's a, a newcomer on the scenes. They're called The Knifes. And this is a song from their debut EP, I guess you could call it. And it is called She's Gear. <laughs>
Okay, so that was She's Gear by The Knives, followed by Corpse Fucker by Fucked to Death. That's right, an amazing four-piece grindcore slash porno grind slash grind gore band from my own hometown. And to end off the show tonight, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to play a song by a band that's not even from Canada. These guys messaged me last month asking if I could play a song of theirs on this podcast, and I agreed. And this is not something I would normally do, but since they reached out to me, I thought it was the least I could do for them, especially because I actually checked out their album, and it is pretty good. Uh, The instrumentalist who does all the guitars, bass, and drum programming is from Poland, and the vocalist is from Spain, though the track that I'm playing you is going to be an instrumental This song is called The Sky Remembered by Name by Chaos Over Cosmos. And before I leave you tonight, I just want to remind you, support local, support Newfoundland, and stay fucking heavy. My name's Akhenaten, signing off.